I've been trialling Chris Hemsworth's centre for the third time, so was it third time lucky? Centre says that they're everything you need in one spot. Train, eat and live better with the tap of a finger. Simple to use and easy to stay on track. Basically, it's a meal planner and app that provides workouts and recipes so that you don't have to think about all those things yourself. And it's customisable so that you can swap out meals and workouts to suit your lifestyle. I'll just read their very exciting legal disclaimer. A healthy balanced diet and regular exercise are necessary for weight loss, maintenance, muscle building or toning. Please discuss your decision to begin a fitness or diet program with a healthcare professional. And remember, everybody is different, so results may vary. I too am not a health professional, but I'm also not going to do an in-depth review on Centre today. I have been reviewing Lidl and Sainsbury's plant-based options lately from a financial perspective. And the big criticism of the discounters is that their ranges are limited. Is it? I don't know, that's what everyone's saying. Oh. So, as an extreme example, could you make Centre's recipes from their fitness planner just by shopping at a discounter? Let's investigate what ingredients Centre wants us to buy. Nutritional yeast. Bitch, please. So I did see nutritional yeast flakes in Aldi recently, but it was a special buy. So I assume when it's gone, it's gone. And I don't think I've ever seen them in Lidl. I'm sorry, you're saying there's a multiverse? Yes, only in a multiverse would you be able to buy Ducker at Lidl. I don't even know. Is it Ducker or, or Duca? Duca? Ducker? Duca? You can make it. It's chopped almonds, sesame seeds and cumin. I don't think they have sesame seeds at Lidl. Okay, I understand. Lebanese cucumbers. Don't let me down, Lidl. It's clear to me that you were not ready for this. It's as if Chris Hemsworth and Lidl do not communicate with each other at all. You guys do have sarcasm on this earth, right? Brown rice syrup. Pandan leaves. Why not? I don't think they even stock those at the majors, let alone at the discounters. Blue butterfly pea flowers. I'm sorry, what? Black sesame seeds. Listen, I'm so sorry. Radishes. I think I just threw up in my mouth a little. Buckwheat or soba noodles. Listen, I'm so sorry. You say that a lot. What are you sorry for this time? Broad beans. How's the plan going? Some setbacks for sure. Tempeh. They do suggest somewhere swapping tempeh for scrambled eggs, but of course if you're vegan... You're not gonna do that, are you? Fennel. Love fennel in a restaurant. Have never been able to buy it anywhere in person. Rice paper roll sheets. Wait, you're, you're being serious right now? Okay, I think we get the idea. Okay, it's not working out. And I don't need to go into detail about tofu again. See the previous instalments for that. I'm gutted that I was only able to buy it once during Veganuary at Little. Where were you? I have a plan. I'll forget step seven. Step seven. Now, of course, I have picked out some of the most awkward examples. Let's try that again. But even if I pick out something really simple, like black beans on toast, not sure why that even needs a recipe. Most of the year, you can't find a tin of black beans in Lidl. They do sometimes have them in Audi. I'll give you about a 50 50 chance. So the verdict there is that if you're going to trial centre or something similar, you might find the meal planner a bit of a problem if you only shop at the discounters. And if you want to eat plant based either way, it is still limited. Can I give you some advice? You got to get better at this part of the job. What else can we do if we want to eat better, whatever that means to you, alongside a training regimen without breaking the bank? But I'm ready for more than that now. If you're going to have to go online or to another supermarket anyway, I'd rather have the easiest, most affordable thing. I did notice that Holland and Barrett are now stocking Huel, which I can't stop talking about. So that's what I picked up for lunch the other day on a hospital trip. I think the big reason I can't stop talking about it is that most of us are suffering from decision fatigue. Something like Centre is meant to tell you what to eat so that you don't have to worry. But in doing that, they're also telling you what to spend. And as with most fitness planners, they might go to great lengths to make their monthly membership good value compared to having a nutritionist and a personal trainer, which most of us can't afford to do, and I'll let you argue whether that should be necessary. But any subscription becomes meaningless if it bumps up your bills elsewhere in life. In the centre example, if you've got to start shopping somewhere else or in multiple places, or spending more just to get the basic ingredients, then that could be a real obstacle. I can see why a lot of people give up their New Year's resolutions by January 19th and then just don't try again for the rest of the year. And I can see why we've got to this stage where you can buy a nutritionally complete meal as a powder to mix with cold water or ready to drink and have that as a subscription delivered to your door for dinner so that you don't have to write a shopping list or spend petrol on driving to more than one supermarket or spend that time shopping, meal planning, cooking, using the energy from the cooker, unless you're buying fuels, hot foods, the price per meal on those is higher. I guess my final thought is that we can only buy so many ingredients at one time. At the moment, I'm in one of my eat the pantry phases, so I'm not trying to buy anything except vegetables over the coming weeks anyway, so I can use up all the proteins and 
cooking oils and spices that I've got stashed away already. And the other thing, if you sign up to things like Center, is that you could just make variations on the recipes anyway that fit your spending and what's already available to you. None of this has to be all or nothing. And I say that as an autistic person, where all or nothing is actually an autistic trait. So that could very easily be my default setting. But even Huel, I think at this stage, isn't going to become something that I necessarily have three times a day. It's just nice to know that it's there. And it's nice to know that I could save time and money and most importantly reduce some of the decision fatigue let me know your thoughts you're good good how are you good you turn me down if you want me to do more day in the life vloggy stuff on what i spend day to day i can do that i'm going to be talking about an investing experiment soon not because i'm an expert on that quite the opposite i had to research it like most of us and we all have to start somewhere if you're suffering from decision fatigue on what to watch and listen to and where to save money just check out what's next on save like a bear It's all done for you.